All right, guys. So today's video is about how to change the button functionalities or map your Logitech MX Master 3S for Mac mouse. Without wasting much of your time, let's talk about this guy because I've been using it for the past three days and it has been very useful. You know, when you change this mapping or you do it to your own way or your own taste, you're going to enjoy this mouse. Yeah, I'm even beating myself. Why didn't I get it earlier? So don't let me talk too much about this. Let's talk about how you can map it and change the functionalities. Let's get down to business. Now have the table. The first thing to do here is to download the Logic Option Plus app. As you can see here, I have it on my system. Go to your browser if you want to get yours right now and search for Logitech Software or Mouse MX or the Master Series. Just search for it. You are going to see two first searches here. Select the one with Logic Options Plus Hub. Okay, so that is the software for this Master Series mouse. Now, when you get there, you are going to see. Let me expand this quickly. So, you are going to see Download Logic Option Plus for Mac OS 10.15 and later. So, you can select that option. I've done that already. Once you download it, you are going to see it on your so let me quickly download it so that you can see it here i already have it here already two hours ago so once it is done just install it and you should have it on your system all right now it's going to pop up this zip folder here this zip folder so you are going to open up the zip folder and you're going to see your software for the logic tech mouse once you have done that open it up and you are good to go it's going to tell me to enter my password for my macbook you enter your password and it's going to open up this guy so i'm going to just quickly type in my and that is it for this guy to open up and work the way it's meant to work please grant all permissions and accessibility for this guy to work so once you are done you should open up this this is the main Home page of the app all right so as you can see showing the percentage of my battery of this logitech mouse so just click on it you can also come here to hard devices if you want to add other devices and stuff like that you can see your account the settings and the rest so click on the mouse and it's going to show you buttons now you can see the image of the mouse here this middle button means that this wheel button here okay if you want to customize it to your own you can just select on that middle button and it's going to show you some of the recommended gestures or settings you can use sheet wheel mission control show or hide desktop gesture keyboard shortcut etc with ai options like open ai open chat gpt and the rest okay so when you select another one like here you can also make it to do other things like this shift wheel mode Okay, this shift wheel, that is what I said it to. I didn't use it for any other customization. Just for it to give me either smooth scrolling or the one that um, it give you this like haptic feedback on this scrolling. Like it will just, you know, give that haptic feedback sort of a little kind of vibration. <laughs> if you have used this guy, you know what I mean. So if you press that, you can set it to that option or mode if you want. And also you can come to this horizontal scroll. If you are using a web page, you can use it to scroll to the other you know, end of the web page. Sort of like, like this. Let's just search for something now. Let me quickly show you. Okay, so I can use it to scroll to the left, as you can see. It is scrolling to the left, it's scrolling to the right. So that is the function of this scroll. So once you have that in place, you can change it if you want to change this horizontal scroll is very good for web pages and other navigation and this buttons here that is the smaller buttons here these two buttons here you can set it to forward or backward when you are navigating through web web pages all right depending on what you want you have all these things there just select it and if you want to customize it to the one that you want it's there pace volume whatever you want to use it for and here i set my which is this small one here there is a button here 
if you look closely, there is a button that has um, a line on it. So you can use it for something else. I set mine to chat GPT. Chat GPT. So it's going to pop it up. For example, let me minimize this. Uh, if I press this button here, it's going to pop up chat GPT. As you can see, it is very, very easy. Very easy to use. Very versatile. I love that. So, and you can customize it to whatever you want. That's one good thing about this guy. You can customize it to whatever you want. The Logic Option Plus app just makes it possible for you to do everything. If you want to add application or check some other stuff, you can come here and check it out. You can see there are a lot of applications there that you can use, customize it to your own taste, and that is how to map it. If you have any issue, you can drop it down in the comment section. There's also here for point scrolling. If you don't want it to scroll too much, you want natural scrolling or others pointer speed, you can come here and adjust it. If you also want it to be, you know, set with this with Tom, you can also come here and do all that at the point and scroll option. Here is the easy switch. That is, if you want to change it, you can connect it to three devices at the same time. As you can see here, I have one. That is my MacBook Pro. And I have two spare spaces for others. So if you have a MacBook and an iPad, you can use that option here. So you can switch in between without you, you know, starting to configure the mouse from scratch. It's as easy as that. Now here is to the flow. Welcome to Logic Flow. You can also do this. That is, if you want it to go from one system, you are using two screen. From one system to the other one, you can copy and drag it. It's very easy. You can just set up the flow here. And that is also good for you. And also the settings, you have everything here. Always check if you have the latest firmware update, you can update it. And you are going to have, you know, some options and some updates that comes with that new version. All right. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, that is all. That is it. If you have any issue, difficulty, drop down there in the comment section. And that is all concerning this MX Master 3S from Logitech. If you want to customize it, thank you very much and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.